Assalamu alaikum dear students, welcome to NIEVS Home School. I am Farhana Yasmin, Assistant Teacher of English Morning Shift. Now I am going to take an English Literature class for class 3. Today our topic is Unit 4, Reading Done and we will practice word meaning, make sentence and truthfuls from this unit. This is lecture number 9 and homework number 7 will be given today. So dear students, let's look at Unit 4. This is a story called Monday Morning. Let's start reading. It was Monday morning. Tom was feeling very sad. He hated Mondays. The beginning of a boring week. He lay thinking in bed. He wished he was sick. Suddenly, he noticed something. One of his upper teeth was loose. He immediately thought of a plan. He began to groan. But Sid, Tom's brother, continued to sleep. So Tom groaned louder. Sid stretched and sat up and looked at Tom. Tom, what's the matter? asked Sid. He shook Tom. Oh, don't Sid. Don't shake me, Tom moaned. Why? What's the matter, Tom? I will get Aunt Polly. No, never mind. Don't call anybody, groaned Tom. But Sid was already gone. He ran downstairs and said, Aunt Polly, come quick. I think Tom's dying. Dying? What rubbish? said Aunt Polly. So Tom doesn't want to go to school, so he is pretending that his teeth hurt. She ran upstairs with Sid behind her. When she reached the bed, she asked, Tom, what's the matter with you? Oh, Auntie, my tooth, it hurts. It is loose. Tom, you scared me for a minute, said Aunt Polly. Sid, get me a silk thread and a chunk of fire from the kitchen. Tom said, Oh no, Aunt Polly, don't. Don't pull the tooth out. It doesn't hurt anymore. I don't want to stay away from school. So all this fuss was because you wanted to stay at home and go fishing? asked Aunt Polly. By now, the tools were ready. Aunt Polly tied one end of the thread to Tom's tooth and the other to the bedpost. Then she took the chunk of fire and pushed it towards Tom's face. Tom jerked back and the tooth was dangling from the bed post. So Aunt Polly pulled out Tom's tooth with the thread. But all troubles have their rewards. As Tom made his way to school, he became the envy of all the other boys because of the gap in the upper row of teeth. The story is written by Mark Twain. Let's read the word meanings from the story now. Number A, moaned, made a long low sound of pain. Number B, chunk of fire, a piece of firewood. C, jerked, made a short sudden movement. Next is making sentence. Number A, moan. Tom was moaning, sitting on the bed. Number B, stay. Tom said he didn't want to stay away from school. Number C, thread. Aunt Polly tied a thread to Tom's tooth. Next we have true false. Number A, Tom was very sad on Sunday morning. This is false. 
Thomas Seddon, Monday morning, not Sunday morning. Number B, Tom wished he was sick. This is true. Number C, Tom planned to stay away from school. This is also true. Homework number 7 will be the making sentence from this unit. Making sentence part, these three words and the sentences made from these three words. So dear students, this is the end of today's class. Please do the homework carefully and submit on Saturday. Hope to see you in next class. Stay safe. Allah Hafiz.